What's going on, guys? This is Unleak Bobble here. Welcome back to another episode of Undertale. It has been a while since we played it, mainly because my Steam keeps acting up and just basically hates me. I don't know what's wrong with it. Every time I go to play a game, it just keeps loading for about five years until I decide, like, no, that's probably too long to wait. But we should probably just get going. There's also been a few bugs that I couldn't get the, uh... The attack menu to work. I'm hoping it works this time. I'm not sure. Uh, ideally, it will. So let's see. Up or to the right? Let's go up. What's up there? Did you miss it? Spider Big sailed down and to the right. Fascinating. Thank you. Come eat food made by spiders. Four spiders of spiders. And look, I'm going to fight this thing. Right? Nope. Rip it. I'm going to talk to it. Huh. <sighs> My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. Oh, I could skip through words by pressing X. That's cool. That's right. Pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. Indeed I do. Of course I do, Ribbit Frog. Ribbit Ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. I already knew that, but thank you. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I can only have seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with this. I have heard that you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you spare it. When you can spare it. What do you think of that? Very. Oh, very helpful or it's bad. It's like, very, it's helpful, bad. What? This is some messed up English. Very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if you even if their name isn't yellow. Of course. Ring. Hello. I just heard I just realized that I <clears throat> I cannot talk today. I've just realized that it's been quite a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave the room in your pockets for that. Click. Thanks, L'Oreal. Okay, now I can't remember. Is it L'Oreal or Toriel? I kept screwing that up last time. I think it's L'Oreal. What do you say? Come on, say it. There we go. There was just one switch. Good to know. And that's where I leave here. Um. Am I even supposed to follow... Decide the way I'm supposed to fall down here? How about this one? That's actually the right one? Seriously? No, no this is the one with the switch? Okay, though. Are you serious? Is it going- Oh my god, it's actually working this time! It was not working last time at all, I swear. I don't know why it's working this time. Uh, they got crawled up close. With a yellow name. I don't see any- Act? Mold small? I can flirt with mold small? What? You wiggle your hips. Mold small wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. Okay then. That's random as anything. Mold small burbles quietly. Um. How, how did you get back out of this? I don't know. Uh. Migos, what do you say? Talk. I don't care. <laughs> That's what it says. Ah, there we go. That's how you do it. You get out of that by pressing shift. Cool. What about mercy? Can I can I mercy them? I don't know where the yellow name is. I'm assuming that it's because these uh, highlighted things yellow, maybe. Don't know. Spare? Sure, why not? Migos doesn't have a care in the world. Okay. Spare you too? Hey, that works. You won. You earned zero XP and three gold. Very nice. All right, let's get out of here before I have to uh, deal with that again. Or deal with uh, accidentally coming across people like that again. People like that. That just, that came out wrong. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. Okay, then. It's a switch. Press it. Why not? Nothing happened. Awesome. Thank you very much. That was useful. 
It's a switch. Press it? Sure, why not? Nothing happened again. What a surprise. Who's surprised? Not me, I tell you what. Press the switch, of course we do, and nothing happened either. Hmm. So it's just a... thin of perspective, huh? Oh, that just makes me fall. Okay. That's random. And this one also makes me fall? Yep. This is so random. You noticed there was a blue switch behind the top pillar. Thanks. Can I... Oh, it's a switch. Press it. Sure, why not? You hear a clicking sound. Is that good or not? I do not know. What's it say? If you can read this, press the blue switch. Got it. Thank you. What's this one say? If you can read this, press the red switch. Got it. Ro right on. Rocking towards the red switch right there. Of course, we're going to press it. You hear a clicking sound. Wonderful. Which means yellow switch next? Probably. Press the green switch. Oh, changing it up, I see. Oh, wait, where's the red switch? Where's, where's the green switch? Wait, where is the green switch? Have I been thinking the yellow switch was... Or the green switch was yellow this entire time? Maybe. I think that's where it is. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. By the way, if it never seems like I'm shouting, that's because the music is freaking loud and I can't hear myself. So I'm sorry if uh, anyone gets annoyed by my shouting here. Hello, tree. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Oh, thank you back. L'Oreal's back, okay. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there, I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Going with you, I guess. She's just freaking running off. Let's save right here, though. Perfect. What's it say? It does I can't read it. Okay. Do you spell that? Surprise. It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Cool. Thank you, Tori L'Oreal. I hope I'm going with L'Oreal correctly. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here, so I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Thanks, L'Oreal. I appreciate it. Here, I have another surprise for you. Cool. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Sure I will, L'Oreal. You're so nice. Is something burning? Uh, make yourself at home. <laughs> and L'Oreal forgot about the pie in the oven. Let's see what's in the room. Oh my god, it's freaking salmon. It's so bright. It hurts my eyes. What's in here? An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Well, it's mine now. Box of kids' shoes and a disparity of sizes. Disparity, not disparity. <laughs> that music's interesting. Okay, then. These cool toys don't interest me at all. And I'm just... I sleep by hopping onto the bed. Okay. Oh, no! I slept right through her giving me pie! He found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. That's depressing. I slept right through. L'Oreal, I'm so sorry for sleeping through your pie and giving time. This is L'Oreal's room. What's this say? Just a regular old bucket of snails. Okay, I was really aiming for the book, but thank you. It's freaking Toriel, not L'Oreal. I give up. Read the circle passage? Sure. You read the passage. Read the passage, I'm not sure. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. Dear God. The rest of the passage is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. I kind of hate this peep, this book. That was just terrible. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. Alright. You peek inside the drawers. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. <laughs> That's hilarious. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most sundare of plants. 
Of course. Of course it is. Fuss is das. Room under renovations. Got it. Oh, a mirror. Look how fancy that is. It's you. Ah, oh, magic. How do you ever do that? Let's see if we can find the kitchen. Ah, Doriel, what's up, buddy? Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a cure... <clears throat> wow, I almost pronounced that horribly. A curriculum of your education. This is this may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm very glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Nothing. Or when can I go home? I am home. This is a wonderful house. Well, talk to me again if you need anything. Got it, Toriel. You're so kind. Ooh, kitchen. Sink. There was some white fur stuck in the drain, probably from Toriel. She's a bit white and furry. For some reason, there was a brand named Chocolate Bar in the fridge. Not saying which brand, though, obviously. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. <laughs> That might give me a small stomach ache if I eat the whole thing. I just can't. Take it away from me. The stovetop is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Probably. That would make sense. In a place that obviously has magic. Wait, I need to check the bookshelf. Is there anything there? It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped beneath the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we were treated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. Brilliant naming convention. I mean, just wonderful. Great job, guys. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. <laughs> I can tell. Oh, creepy purple dungeon, huh? What do you think is it? Oh, hello, Toriel. I think you should play upstairs instead. So, Toriel's... I'm going straight back down there. <laughs> just seeing. Come on, just outrun her. Nope. It's dangerous to play here. What if I just keep coming down back down here? Is she going to kill me or something? Goodbye. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. It's drafty here. You'll catch a cold. <laughs> uh, I'm tempted to just keep doing this over and over. I know it's going to annoy everyone, but... It, I'm very... T okay, one more time. The intimidating music is kind of interesting. I'll catch a cough this time. Alright. Let's just be serious now and explore. Is there more of the house that I haven't seen yet? Doubt it. What if we sleep again? Does that do anything? Well, obviously it makes us sleep. Uh, no, not so much. Does it age the rest of the house? It does not look like it. Unless Toriel's in here. Toriel is not in here. Oh, I found some flower seeds and broken crayons. What happens if I talk to the fire? Nothing. All right, Toriel, you need to tell me what I need to do next because I'm so lost. Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about the book I'm reading? Sure, why not? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. You are obsessed with snails, lady. How about it? Sure, why not? Here's an exciting snail pot part. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? I did know that. Interesting. Yeah, totally interesting. Well, bother me if you need anything else. How about again? What is it? How to exit the ruins. Let's just see what that's about. I have to do something. Stay here. Bye, Toriel. Miss you. Seems like the right size for Toriel. I'm talking about the chair. Okay, then. Goodbye, Toriel. What if we go downstairs? She's not going to chase us now. Possible? Is she going to come running after? No, we're going to go running after her. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? I just want to know. I don't want to actually go, probably, because you're awesome. Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins, a one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Or should I really read it like, Now be a good child and go upstairs. Do not make me angry, child. How about we don't go upstairs? I'm just going to follow you. Maybe she'll just end up killing me. 
Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they... Osgore. We'll kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. No! Following you! Do not try to stop me. I'm not trying to stop you. I want to follow you, man. This is your final warning. Of course. You want to leave so badly? She seems angry about me leaving. Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Nope. Nope. I'm... I'm fighting freaking Toriel. Toriel blocks the way. Oh, wonderful. Act. Toriel. Talk. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. I guessed. Oh, hello, Toriel. Oh my god. Toriel is acting aloof. Uh, let's not do that. Uh, maybe we should just run. Let's spare Toriel. <laughs> yeah, the fact that we would... We could spare her is funny. When really it's just her sparing us. Let's just flee. That is right. Go upstairs. Yeah. I felt like I was probably trying to intimidate her to let me leave, but at the same time, I just wanted to see what would happen if I did leave. Or if I did keep following her. Really. Staying here is great. It's it's a wonderful house. Thanks, Toriel! Okay, maybe we should just go to bed. Seems like a good plan. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you did, please be sure to hit a like and leave a comment down below. It really helps the channel. Helps out the channel. I cannot talk. Also, make sure to subscribe if you really enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. So long, everyone. Whoa, Waffle, please wake up. You are the future of humans and monsters. I was planning that to be the end of the episode. Like, I'd fade out right as I got into bed. But freaking no. I am not. <laughs> I'm not ending the episode yet, apparently. <laughs> okay, so I'm apparently the future of humans. Or some crazy stuff like... I don't know what's going on. Things are happening. Okay, now it's the end of the episode, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.